Welcome. Infinium is a Realme C11 and today I'll show you how to go to the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with a language select as you can see right now. And simply you need to choose the language that you wish to use. I'm gonna stick with English and tap on next. And select your region. And now this will also determine the time zone. Assuming you don't connect to any kind of Wi-Fi or anything like that. Then we have terms of service. Obviously we need to agree to it. Uh, the only thing that we can deselect is the uh, exper uh, experimental programs if you wish to. This is the optional part. And from here tap on next. Now we have Wi-Fi connection. Now if you don't have any Wi-Fi near you, you can always choose to skip it. Um, the only difference if you connect to it uh, is the ability for you to later on connect to your Google account and also restore device, uh, restore the device from the old backup. I'm gonna opt out of it for now. It's just gonna be a little bit quicker. Then we have Wi-Fi assistant. Um, automatic, automatically select the best Wi-Fi. So we'll switch connections depending on uh, the ones that you already connected to that it remembers and choose the best one, the fastest one for you. Again, check that on and once you check it on, it also pops up with the ability for you to connect to your mobile network, assuming the Wi-Fi uh, that you are connected to right now is complete garbage. So for me, that would be good. And let's tap on next. We have Google services, localization, scanning, and all that stuff. Now you can read uh, read those descriptions in depth and see what they exactly do. Uh, deselect them if you don't want it. And from here, just tap on more and scroll down, except at the bottom, uh, set screen lock. Um, so again, you can set one. If you don't want to, you can tap on later. I'm gonna go into the settings and set it up. And by default, it sets a six digit Pin, but you can tap on other encryption method and choose either pattern, four digit password, uh, four to 16 digit password, or alphabetical one. I'm gonna go with the pattern and completely mess it up, I think. There we go. Now, normally you would do it twice, but because I messed it up the first time around, for the one that I want, I need to repeat it a couple more times. So here we also move on to the face enroll. Now you can do this, it will then allow you to lock, unlock the device using your face. Let's see how it will do. So apparently camera in front of my face is doing just fine. Um, uh, turn to raise to, you can set that to be on or off depending how you like it, it will, when you wake up, or when you raise the phone, it will automatically try to scan your face. You have recommended auto update overnight, um, completely up to you. You can set it on or off. Home screen icons, uh, just a theme of it. You can choose whichever one you like. As you can see, you have uh, only two different ones, or three different ones, I mean. And this one is just if you have some downloaded. Uh, I prefer the default one, so that's what I'm gonna stick with. Let's go back. And from here, I'm gonna go to next, import data. Now this will allow you to use the Realme built-in app to import data from your older device. Now on your old device, you will be required to download that app from Play Store, assuming uh, your old device is not Realme. If it is, then you don't need to download it. It should be somewhere on the device. Now for me, I'm gonna set it up as new, so let's choose later. And we're basically done. Get started. And we should be on the home screen. There we go. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.